Hello everybody. Welcome back. It's me and Colin. Today we are at Aldi. You see my little Aldi bag right there. But it's Food Storage Friday, y'all. And we're starting this new series in August. I already posted one video of this. So I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. What we're going to do, we're going to go get a $5 pantry stock up. We're doing the $5 food pantry challenge emergency food storage challenge whatever you want to call it it's where you take five dollars a week and you go buy items that you normally use and you stock up on these items and you put them in your house for just in case you buy around five dollars worth and it could be pantry items but some people like to do freezer friendly i like to stick with shelf stable most of the time sometimes i do freezer friendly but today we're going to hit up audi i haven't been in here in forever forever and I know nobody likes the way I say Audi everybody says it's Aldi but let me explain why I don't say Aldi this is my accent and it's how it comes out of my mouth pretty much but it don't have two L's all is A-L-L -L. Al is A-L I don't know that's how I justify my accent but whatever it's fine it, we all know where I'm going it's the same place anyways um let's go in here we're going to do our five dollar pantry challenge and we're going to get a couple things for the house as well i'll take you along with that too but i'm going to mainly focus on our five dollar stock up that's going in the pantry you ready colin yes i'm ready let's go homie you got the bag yep we got the bag let's go somebody gave us a buggy oh my goodness $1.29. These are my absolute favorite thing ever. I love musket on season. Oh my goodness. Ryder has requested everything bagels. This is all they have. Is it? Oh, there it is. Ew. Some spot top bag. This is what we're looking like. All right. Food storage. We need some more green beans. I'm going to put my food storage ball up here. Definitely need some of this. I'm going to get a couple of these. They're always good to have. This is always good to have flavored rice. I don't normally buy this stuff, but it says it's new. I've never seen this. Braden would freak. We haven't had this in forever. It's always so cheap. It's the cheapest meat I've seen in forever. We did it. We went in Audi and we got some groceries we needed for the house. They had a really good sale on hamburger meat because the hamburger meat is not that cheap anymore. That used to be like the expensive price for hamburger meat. But nowadays, it is what is on sale. <laughs> but we have to run a Wally World um, and we got to get a couple things there and then we're done. We're good. Let's go Walmart. Let's go Walmart. So I was on my way to Walmart and you see me driving there because it's just right across the street from Audi. Um, I left my phone in the car and <laughs> forgot to record inside of Walmart. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got right fast after I pull in the Walmart parking spot. This is the Wooly World haul. Got a gallon of milk. Some more adobo. I've never tried the kind with Mediterranean sea salt and that's supposed to be better for you. So we're doing that. We're trying this one. Got some on the border uh, tortilla chips. I forgot the name of them. I got this because Colin has requested some hamburger dip. 
But I got a big thing like this because I seen this. What the heck is this, y'all? What even? This is new, so we're gonna try this out because holy heck of baloney, that is amazing. Um, that was a weird thing for me to say, but yeah. A big pack of sharp cheddar cheese. We got a pound of uh, honey ham. Um, Dusty requested liquid IVs um, for after work because he works hard and he sweats. <laughs> so that's good. So that is all I got from Molly World. And here's what I got at good old Audi. My total was $99 before tax. Their organic beef was on sale for $3.99 for a one pound package. And that is a great deal, especially for organic beef. But it's an insane deal. So I got seven pounds of this. I could have got more, but this was my limit. I didn't want to overdo it. So I got seven pounds. Y'all, this is a sale in my area <laughs> lately. Like normal price is like $6.49 a pound. It's insane. So organic, I bought some of this up. Got some boneless chicken breasts. They were on sale for what is that? $2.39 a pound. This whole pack was $10.87. This is pre-Rona prices. I'ma take it. <laughs> they haven't had these in forever. Well, I haven't been to Audi in forever. But every time I did go, I haven't seen these in like months, months. I finally found one. I love these things. If you have never tried the carnita seasoned pork, y'all, you need to try it. And you get a big old chunk of meat and it's real cheap. Got some Atlantic. Okay, so if my children are going to request salmon, something really healthy, um, I can do it every now and again. So we do this about maybe once every couple of months, I get some salmon. So... This was eight seventy eight for this big chunk of salmon, and this will feed. That's pretty big. They usually get like this much, so that's probably three servings right there. Me and Colin, we don't really eat it. I can, but I don't really. Um, so that's the meats that I got. Got some crinkle cut fries, honey battered chicken nuggets. These are perfect for convenience meals, and I have never seen the sweet and sour one before. It was in the little cooler in the middle of the alley. That's where they put, like, new stuff. So, I had to get that. I wanted to try it. I have never tried this before. I've tried their tortellini, but I've never tried their little raviolis. How cute is that? I want to do something with that. Plus, it was a good price. Ryder requested everything bagel. And they didn't have the regular. I had to get the skinnies, and they were a dollar more expensive. Have y'all tried this? This bread is so stinking good. I love it. Got some hamburger buns. Got some regular split top wheat. The boys requested some honey buns. So I got them that as a treat. Baby Bella mushrooms were on sale this week. $1.29. Got a big old English cucumber because I want to try that viral cucumber recipe that that guy Logan's doing on TikTok. I will try it for you guys and let you know if it's good or not. Muscadine grapes are my favorite thing on the planet, and they only come once a year, and I love it when they do. Uh, some regular cucumbers. Some red grapes. Braden has been nagging for a cheesecake lately, and I see he loves chocolate, so I've never seen this before. This is kind of crazy. Um, so, I'm going to make this for him someday this week. Okay, that is my entire grocery haul, the regular groceries. Now, I'm going to show you my emergency stock up for my $5 challenge. I'm going to show you. This is what I got. Got two packs of this Italian seasoning mix. Two packs of this chicken flavored rice. Two cans of French style green beans. And two cans of tomato sauce. I actually added this in with all of this. So everything here was $99. I will put the total for my emergency stock up right here. If y'all have never tried a muscadine grape, oh my lord. They have gigantic seeds. My manager's so good. Along with Food Storage Friday, where we do our $5 pantry stock up, I also want to be sharing a shelf stable meal with you guys because a lot of you have told me, Brooke, I have took part in this $5 pantry challenge. Now what? What do I do if I have to live off of the stuff that I put in my pantry? What kind of meals can I make with this? So, at the end of each of these Food Storage Friday videos, I'm going to share with you guys a shelf-stable meal. And today's going to be chili. Now, 
it's so easy to make a shelf stable chili, but it's usually vegetarian. I, <coughs> I just got choked on my own air. Anyways, <laughs> it's usually vegetarian, but I can my own hamburger meat and it's shelf stable, but I know everybody doesn't do that. So I'm not gonna be using any of my shelf stable hamburger meat, which if you're interested, I'll link that down below because it's awesome and it tastes so good. Don't know if you try it. Anyway. <laughs> I have a way to make some chili and it's not going to be vegetarian. You're going to have some meat in there too. We're going to be making some shelf stable chili tonight with meat. And I'm going to turn it into a casserole too. I'll just show you. This is what I'm going to be using. Give you some, I like Van Camps or Armor. And I got this up from the pantry. This is probably my favorite. I like this better than the Armor chili. But anyways. I'm going to get two cans of chili with beans. Now, you can get the kind that doesn't have beans, but I like it better with beans. It means I don't have to buy another can of beans. Um, this is 15-ounce can, so get you about around 30 ounces of chili with beans, or if you prefer, no beans. I'm also going to be using light red kidney beans and mixed chili beans. Shelf stable pack of chili seasoning mix. Now, you can decide, do you want to use like a can of Rotel, a can of diced petite tomatoes. Sometimes you can get it with onions and green peppers in it. But, we have found that this roasted garlic tomato sauce is really good. So, <laughs> I'm going to be using this in it as well. And to make it a casserole, we're going to put some cornbread on top and bake it. And this Martha White Cotton Country Cornbread, it's just add water. You don't have to have eggs, milk, oil, nothing. It's just add water. So this is perfect to have in your pantry. Now, homemade cornbread, you gotta have milk, eggs, oil, all that good stuff. This is good for when you don't have all of that. Let's get started on tonight's shelf stable dinner. Normally I use a big kettle of some sort to make my chili, but I'm gonna make my chili in this big iron skillet tonight because I'm just gonna put the cornbread mix on top and throw this in the oven so I don't have to dirty up more than one thing. I don't drain my beans. So I'm throwing kidney beans and the juice they come with in here. Definitely don't drain your chili beans because that has flavor and sauce in it. I'm going to toss in each can of the chili with beans. And some people may be asking, why not just heat up a bunch of cans of this? Because this is more expensive <laughs> to get. It's more expensive to get a lot of this than it is to just mix up your own beans. And you can kind of make it your own this way. Also, then all of that tomato sauce with roasted garlic. And that chili seasoning mix. Mix it up real good, and we're going to turn the heat on and let it all get heated up. This smells fantabulous, just so you know. Okay, well, this is simmering. I'm going to get the cornbread mix ready so we can bake this. I preheated my oven to 400. I'm just going to make it the way it says, three-fourths cups of water. Three-fourths cups of water. We're just going to whisk it up. If you want to make this just because you want to make it, I mean, it's really good. We have it all the time. Um, but if you have some cheese, you can definitely put some cheese in between the chili and the cornbread and it's popping. But this is the shelf stable way. I want to remove this from the heat and then top it with the cornbread. Nothing fancy, just pour it on top, and I'm going to put this in the oven on 400 until that cornbread is done. She's done. As you can see, a lot of that cornbread went to the bottom, and it's not showing on top. But it's nice and fluffy, and it's done, and I'm going to bowl this up, not plate it up, because it's going in a bowl. I'll show you what it looks like. And here we have it, our shelf-stable 
chili and cornbread casserole. All that fluffy cornbread in there. The cornbread wasn't pretty on this because I just drizzled it on top, but you could like put extra cornbread to make it thicker, to make it more aesthetically appealing, but it's just, you're just going to chop it up anyways. Alrighty, Ryder, let me explain real fast. This is a shelf-stable chili cornbread casserole. This is the type of meal that we would have to eat in an emergency situation where we only have to rely on our pantry that we have downstairs. Okay. So let me know if it's good or okay. not. It's like regular chili like cornbread. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, you love it? Yeah, I like it. Thanks. Brayden, you heard me explain it to Ryder, didn't you? Uh-huh. Okay, let me know if it's a good shelf-stable version. Mm. Really good. Thanks. It's just like the regular version. Boo-boo. This is a version of the chili cornbread casserole that's shelf-stable. Everything in it is shelf-stable. Let me know if it's a good thing to eat when we're in an emergency situation or not. It's good chili. <gasps> Thanks, boo-boo. Okay, Colin, let us know if it's good or bad. Oh, no. Oh! Is it good or bad? <laughs> Alrighty, my turn to give this a try. Everybody loved it. Everybody said it tasted just like the regular kind where I add beef and we do just like the regular cornbread. So I have a feeling it's going to be pretty stinking good. Mmm. That's really good. It is really good. Now, if you're just making this to make and it's not an emergency situation and you have cheese, add cheese to it and sour cream. Ooh, it's so good. And sometimes fresh tomato and fresh onions are really good on it too. Remember, if you haven't started the emergency $5 food storage challenge, I urge you to do so. You can get some nice little goodies for your family and your pantry for just in case anything. And I don't mean doomsday type stuff. I just mean anything. Like somebody has to go into the hospital or a job loss, anything. And be sure to grab you some things so you can make complete meals and you're not just trying to piece together random ingredients. Because you can make some really good meals from shelf stable items. I love you guys. I will see you next video. Remember, as always, be positive and kind and happy. And I'll see you later, taters. Bye.